hello guys uh, welcome back in this video let's have a look on uh, the brush called curve pinch and uh, we also have a similar brush called curve standard so let me pick the curve pinch tool here i just click and drag here like that uh, that uh, is basically giving me a curve which can be later extended to any uh, shape so but before going into that just uh, when i click on the uh, curve you should able to see there's a displacement uh, which is more or less like your damn standard and then uh, if I start moving this point, you should be able to see uh, the modification is uh, moving along with the curve, which uh, can greatly help you in, you know, placing the curve in the right shape. Often we uh, we face a problem. Let's say if I'm using a normal standard brush or damn standard brush, and if I have to draw it uh, in a particular shape, and then um, you may not able to edit it, right? So what you need to do is you need to select your damn standard. Uh, for a sake of uh, you know safety you can just clone that damn standard brush and then go to the stroke and then choose the curve mode and then uh, apply that uh, stroke there okay so if you could able to see the stroke is highly intense uh, on one side and uh, gradually it's falling off and the reason for that if you go to the stroke you have the curve modifier and there is an option called intensity which is actually um, you know controlled by the fall off curve here so if I switch off that one, then it will be same along the curve. Okay, so uh, you can switch off these both options, and then when you uh, drag it, you get this uh, uniform uh, thickness along the curve. Okay, uh, now uh, when I click and drag it, you should be able to see it's bringing up uh, the new deformation, uh, whereas it's keeping the previous one intact. So to avoid that, uh, let me just click and drag, and uh, the stroke type which you are seeing here, let's put it to the dot, and then when I click and drag it uh, generally puts that uh, you know stroke on top of it let's say if i increase the intensity to 60 and then um, you know drag it the intensity will be uh, affected not only that i can increase the brush size and then drag it becomes bigger uh, you can put uh, the z add and then drag it it generally pushes the polygons out okay let me just put uh, go to the intensity of 40 and then you should be able to see it's pushing this details outside now when i'm modifying this curve uh, unlike your previous stroke it is actually uh, you know moving the displacement along with the curve which can greatly help in you know uh, modifying this shape uh, sometimes uh, the size is bigger um, or smaller uh, the stroke what you're getting here is too uh, denser actually so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a big brush and then draw and then uh, click and drag uh, you should be able to see that uh, the stroke is applied only on that intersections right so the intensity um, i mean when i'm dr drawing this the dots in the spacing is really important here which can give me that uh, seamless uh, texture okay so let me go for an intensity of uh, 40 there i can choose a subtract also for the negative one not only that uh, play with the values of uh, focal shift okay let me just go a few steps and then click on that and also you can play with the follow focal shift so it gives you a completely different result altogether okay uh, so you can actually create your own custom uh, uh, curve pinch tool uh, let me just uh, go to the curve standard brush okay it's a normal standard brush as you have seen there so i just uh, let me click and drag so when i'm dragging you can uh, see when i'm moving it uh, your normal standard brush will not behave like this uh, i've modified it just now uh, so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to choose it to the dots and then click and drag and when i drag it you get this kind of uh, modifications so wherever the curve is passing it's uh, creating a new deformation so uh, there are two types actually you could see to conclude uh, one is the curve pinch okay curve pinch uh, when i click and drag and modify it uh, takes that stroke along with that uh, whereas a uh, curve standard when i draw it uh, it uh, will move the deformation there and you can control by just changing the stroke type uh, from dots to dra uh, do drag dot okay so that should generally fix your problem what we have uh, created okay so you should be able to see i'm able to nicely wipe it off and then uh, if i start controlling the curve let's say um, we have the options like liquid uh, that gives up new uh, stroke altogether and it, it generally helps uh, uh, very greatly in, in designing new shapes like that 
okay so you can place however you want it just by choosing the liquid tool so these are the two tools uh what that actually means is you can use any of the tools here and then uh, enable the curve mode and uh, get these kind of results which can greatly help you